Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Usually we're doing simple coil builds, but today we're actually going to be doing a little bit more of an intricate coil. It's going to be the zipper coil. And um, what that is, is it actually looks like a zipper once it's put onto the, um, to the Addy. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look and uh, get started here. And I'll let you know everything that you're going to need for this build. Okay, now to get started, what we're going to need is we're going to need some pliers. Um, I also have these because these help me out um, when I'm holding the ends of the wire. Um, some 24 gauge canthal wire. Um, cut into six strips, which will be like this. They're about a foot long, maybe a tad bit longer. I could do them a little bit longer just in case I make a mistake. I can cut pieces off and that will twist up and stuff but what you're going to need to do is actually straighten those out like this and um, you need a total of six of those so I've already straightened out five we'll be straightening out the last one so that you can see how it's done and um, of course we're going to need the ohm reader we're going to need an addy and we're going to need some scissors um, some tweezers screwdriver or a screwdriver um, a uh, jig or a uh, screwdriver um, to wrap the coils. Um, this is for me to hold it in place. Some ceramic tweezers, um, wire cutters, and of course a handy dandy drill. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first I'm going to be showing you how to um, twist or straighten the wire so that um, the wire is perfectly straight because we're going to need all six pieces straight. Again, I've got five here that um, I've already straightened as you can see. So we'll go ahead and straighten this last piece of wire. So to straighten the wire, you're gonna get your drill and you're gonna put one end of the wire in the drill and tighten that up. Make sure it's tight. Take the other end, I'm taking it with um, some pliers and you just hold it straight. You don't have to pull it, just hold it straight and make sure that um, you are holding it. And just twist it. And that's it. That's all you need to do to straighten wire. <laughs> See, perfectly straight. Um, the reason why you do that is because number one, it takes out all the imperfections of the wire. And number two, it's gonna be easier to twist the wire when it's straight and in a drill so um and hold them so we'll go ahead and get started on the um twisting of the zipper wire so what we're gonna do is take now we've got three here and three here three of them are gonna have to be twisted clockwise three are gonna have to be twisted counterclockwise um in order for the zipper to actually look like a zipper so we're gonna take the first three, make them a little even. These are really long, They're longer than I um, thought that they would be. But this is my, by the way, this is my second time building this wire. So um, there will be um, little mishaps during it, or if you don't agree with something, that's fine. Um, you can leave me ideas or suggestions in the comments. So we're gonna go ahead and twist up the first wire. So we're gonna take the three wires, hand and I'm going to put them in my pliers. This is the one that's going to go clockwise so I'm going to put them in my pliers to hold it and then I'm going to take my other pliers and I'm just going to twist it clockwise. Just to get it started so it'll hold into the drill. I'll just put that in, into the drill. Make sure that it's centered. Close that up. Okay. All right, and now we've got the three pieces. Gonna straighten them out. 
and put them into my pliers to hold. Pull it tight while it's twisting, and we're gonna twist it clockwise. It feels real small. The other end was about to let go. Take that out, and this is what we have so far. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So that's the clockwise, and now we're gonna do the same thing to the other end, except we're gonna do it counterclockwise. I'll just make these ends straight. My OCD. Okay, so. These in and do this one counterclockwise. So put those in. Oops. Oh, my wire is going everywhere. Try it again. Straight. And my pliers. And we're gonna twist them the other way. Just to get us started. Okay. And it looks like that. And to go counterclockwise. Tighten that down. Straighten our wires out. And we'll do this one. <laughs> and so it's tiny also. Now, I've got a little bad spot there, but that's okay because I'll cut under that one. So, not bad, not bad at all. Now we've got our two, clockwise and counterclockwise. Now, on the counterclockwise one, we're gonna put, put it back in there, but going clockwise, and we're gonna flatten it out. So, let's put that in there. And, we're going to take our pliers with the smooth part, the smooth part, we're going to be using that part um, to try to flatten it. What we're going to do is just put it on the wire and pull as it's drilling. part.
time. I'm doing it from the back, from the part that's actually good, not from the first part because that got all messed up. Again, I'm going uh, to be cutting off this piece here. So good thing that I made it long, but anyways, so that's the part that we have. That's good. If you can see it, and then we'll go ahead and do the other one. This one is clockwise. opposite direction and again them together they look like a zipper oh, wait. I don't know if you can see that there we go you see it okay so now we can start wrapping put our handy dandy drill on the side and get ready for the wrapping of the quail. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so that you can see this. So let's go ahead and get close up. Okay, so now we're up close and I went ahead and snipped off the ends that have those little pieces and we're going to go ahead and start wrapping the coil. So this can be a little bit difficult because you're wrapping two at the same time as a parallel. Um, so what I what I do or you know anybody else who's wrapping can do it's up to you is um i use a pair of pliers to hold it as i'm wrapping it um and i am going to be wrapping it around a three and a half jig um here so um let's go ahead and get started and it's gonna look a little crazy but it will work so um, i'm gonna do is i'm going to hold this like this and take the wires and grip them as tight as I can and I'm going to slowly start wrapping. Now the wires are kind of long so I have to take it a little bit out of a shot just so you can see. That's one, two, okay. Two, three, that's four, and I think I'm just going to stay at four. Let's just do four. Okay. Well, actually, no. Let's go ahead and do the fifth one. So I put that back on there. Yeah, I'm a female. I can change my mind. <laughs> All of that, and let's make the fifth one. Okay, and as you can tell, oops, sorry, taking it out of the camera, I kind of messed, got that one a little out of sorts. Okay. 
just putting it back in place. So, and just a little bit frustrating when you have other people watching. Got it in there. Okay, so go ahead and clip that so we can put those in. So we want to save the other part for the other one. Here's my clippers don't want to work out. Can you see my arm nice? <laughs> my clippers want to give up on me now. So, so. Wow, this has been a video, boy. This is actually my second one. I already created one, and I messed that one up really bad. But again, this is my second, well, now my third time building this one. I haven't done this many times before to have a lot of practice in it. Okay, saved it. Yay. Okay, so we have that one there. This one's bothering me. This doesn't want to lay down. that was in focus because I didn't even notice. This back right here. Is that good? Yes. I'm go ahead and put those in. This one here. And this one here. those in. Screw this down. Okay, the other side. It's looking good, looking good. Here, once you get this together. Okay. okay, so that one's done. How about we do the other one? <laughs> okay, 
So take that out, put the leads. Let's see if it's gonna cut. There we go. Done. Okay. That one's there. Let's go ahead and wrap the other one. We're having so much fun doing it. Okay, so. One more. Five. We made it. Okay, so we got the five. Oops, right there. Oops, there we go. Yes. Not too bad. And we still had enough from the messed up part. <laughs> I'll go ahead and cut that one down. this in. Shall we? Okay. Let's go. The bottom. Top. It's not that it's hard to get in there. It's that it's hard because of my nails. <laughs> There we go. Huh, all in. Okay, looking good. So we'll go ahead and tighten that one down. Check the other one, make sure that's in. Go on the other side. And I'm just using this to hold it in place. It's not like it, you have to have it, but it works. And let's go this one in. this one out a little bit. Looking good. Move these back. 
so we can clip them like these back. So we can clip these. And I just want to straighten that up because I'm OCD. First wires just been giving problems. Okay, so we're looking good so far. It's like trying to fall out, but we're good. Okay. Let's click these leads, shall we? I gotta get closer than that one too. Oops. All right. Well, whoever was there. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get this over for a minute. If I can get in there. So we don't want them touching anything. You ever just have that one coil that just, no matter what you do, it doesn't like you? This is the one that doesn't like me. There we go. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's see what we're reading at. 0 0.10. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and dry fire that, shall we? this again. It's not reading it. Okay, so this is coming in as a .07. That's not going to be able to be fired. Too low a resistance. So I probably should have done, which is funny because I have five wraps on my Pharaoh and it's a point two. My Pharaoh's at a point two six of five wraps. So same gauge. Anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. If I took the one off, then I'll do it. So we'll go ahead and take one off. And we'll do it as a single coil because I'm not letting this go to waste. I worked very hard on this. Twice. That was too far out. I'm gonna lose my grips, my sprays. Take this one off and we're gonna do it as a single coil. Which is a single coil, not had any issues. Ouch. There we go. Let's screw this back in. Because we're not going to let it go to waste. Now let's check it. 
0.15. So that'll work. So let's burn that one. And vape on it, shall we? Because I'm ready to vape. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Starting to heat up. Wow. Looking good. So it's not just me. Because at least they heat up. pretty okay so we'll let her cool down put some cotton in it take a bake okay so I've gotten a cotton square you can use anything cotton baking can do vape cotton whatever you prefer to use I just grabbed some of this because um, I'm just gonna see how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little strip here and I haven't even tried this Addy out yet I got it, but I was waiting for something special, so this is it. A zipper build. Take that out. And this out. You don't have to. You don't have to take none of it out. You don't have to. You can take one side out to each his own. I'm just going to go ahead and just roll it up. A little bit. Rolling, 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 rolling. Roll one end. That in there. Of course not. I'm telling you, for the twisting part, not very good with the nails. This one's better. There we go. Do that one. Ooh, yay! All in there. Some of this, that, and that. Fluff up the end. Put that in there. This is a huge addy, so I've got plenty of room. Plenty of airflow. And I'm going to go ahead and juice her up. Oh, let's get this out. Oh, got my temple. Okay, I'll put that on it. I thought I was getting the regular temple, but I got the 30 um, millimeter, so we'll use it. It's fine with me. I'll vape it. I'll vape anything. <laughs> so that's in there, and got Cosmos Lady. This is really good. It's, um, one of my new all-day vapes, it's like having like Skittles candy, but not too sweet. Like a subtle Skittles. It smells good. Vapes awesome. What I'm going to do is put some on here and just have it soak in. You see that? I'm going to I'm just putting some here and then just heating it up a little bit so it soaks into the cotton. Actually expands it from the inside out. I've noticed that it gives a really good flavor when you do that. And it wets the the wicks evenly too. I'm 
Like the wet, the wicks are already wet. <laughs> already wet. Let's turn this up. Bring it in point one seven. Up to seventy. Seventy watts. Can you see it? See what she is. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit more and then put the cap on it and let's go. Let's go back up to FaceTime and talk about it. Let's see what you have to say. See you in okay. a second. So um yep, we've got the zipper build. If you can see it, it's really pretty. It's firing up nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a vape and see how that goes. Now, this is made for dual coils, but I'm gonna do it with the single coil and see what happens. And <laughs> she looks so funny on here. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more. Okay, so let's take a vape and talk about it. Vape's awesome, and the flavor is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, so, um, okay. So that was the zipper build. It was supposed to be a dual coil, ended up as a single coil. I think that's very funny, but at least it worked. So we got it done, and I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Um, again, I told you this is only my second time building it. It was actually my third because the second time my drill stopped and um, yeah, it ran out of juice and then I had to charge it and then do it all over again because it messed up the coils. But besides that, this is my second real time making it. So um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I look forward to the next coil build. Bye.